Hello. Yeah, hello. Yes. Hi. Yes, my yeah, friend. Yeah, this uh, Christian Prince, yeah? Yes, absolutely. You are live on air. What do you want to say to us? Yeah, okay. Um, so you're saying Muhammad Hijab is a liar. That's what you're trying to say. I'm not saying the scholar is saying that. Your prophet is saying that. The Quran is saying that. All your scholars are saying that he has parts. Muhammad Hijab, he said, who said so? Okay, where does he say uh, he has parts? Where is this? All those videos in front of you, you can watch them. Which one you okay, want? Okay, so so Muhammad Hijab, he claims Allah has body parts, but no, no, doesn't he, no, he say he, in the no, Quran? No, he deny. No, he deny. You are trying he to prove, it. Yeah, you try to prove to me that Allah has body parts. I understand, but he he did not agree with you. He says, who said so? He's saying this is a lie. And you are oh, calling me. Yeah, and you are calling me to say Allah yes had a body part, right? So Muhammad Hijab is lying, obviously, according to you, not according to me, because you just said Allah has part, uh, parts. Yeah, that's true. So he's a liar then. Muhammad Hijab is an idiot and he's a liar for saying that. Okay. But what are you, why he's right? why he's saying that, my friend? You are a Muslim and you are calling me. You thought he he said that this is why he'll call me. You thought he said yeah. that uh, Allah has parts, and you called me to prove that. But now, because I explained yeah. to you that this is the opposite from what you thought, he said, no, Allah does not have body parts. And you agree now he is a liar. But why do you think he is lying? I think he's lying because he wants to get famous, and you know he's trying to make something up that's not true. Okay. So, but, uh, I mean, okay, get famous by lying, people will laugh at him. Yeah, but I think also the debate that he had with David Wood, he also lied there when he said Allah prays. And like, obviously, uh, he mixed up David Wood's uh, argument, if you know what I mean. Hmm. David Wood, he says uh, Allah would, uh, uh, that Allah, he pray on the Prophet. Uh, they, he pray uh, on the Prophet, uh, yeah. Hijab, he said Allah, he pray for, not to. Do you agree with him? No, no, I don't agree with him. You are a Muslim, right? Yes, yes. Okay, can you say Shahada so people will be sure that you are a Muslim? La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. Okay, so you are a Muslim for sure and you are saying hijab is lying. Okay. Yeah. What? But why he is lying all over? I mean, why he... What, what the point? Well, the point is he wants to create confusion and he's uh, basically what David Wood, he was making a good argument and, you know, he ridiculed David Wood. And you know, I have respect for Christians. Although I must say that, uh, so CP, you're Christian, right? Uh, yeah, um, some some uh, people okay. think I'm so, Hindu because I like beef. What What do you think of the the Torah? What do you think of it? Uh, this is the uh, the book of uh, you know our book. It's part of our book. Part of your books, right? Mm, yeah. So, do you know in the Torah what it calls Arab people? What does it call them? What is called them? You tell me. I'm he called them Pere Adam. That means wild beast. Hmm. So he's calling your own people wild beast. Hmm. Where, where, you know? where it says that? Where it says that? In, it says it in Torah. In where, the where? Five books of Moses. Where, where? Five books of Moses. Okay, where? Where? Oh, I can bring you the, uh, the friend, thing. You got a wrong uh, understanding. You are talking about the children of Ishmael. The children of Ishmael are not the Arab. We are not from Ishmael. Ishmael, his mother, is so Egyptian. My friend. The, the, the Ishmael, his mother is Egyptian, his father is Aramaic. How the son will be an Arab? To make it simple for you, you are a Chinese, you marry a Japanese, your son is Egyptian. Does that make sense to you? No. Right? No, no, it doesn't. No, no. So this is not about no, but, this is not about the Arab. This was about the children of Ishmael. And Ishmael is not an Arab and he is not the father of the Arab. However, the the, the, the Bible when the Bible speaks about something, this is a prophecy about what they will be. That we be wild people, people who like war and warrior. That's not nothing wrong with it. This is a prophesying about what they will be. What about your prophet who says that the black people will go to hell? <clears throat> well, but, but, okay, if he said black people will go to hell, how come he had a, 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 a companion, a Bilal, who is also he is a not black a companion here. He, he was a slave. How you can call him companion? Same. What kind of a companion? He is the one who clean your dishes and you order him to change your diaper. Is that a companion? Yeah, yeah, but okay. How come he treated him like so fair? Like he never, was he never treated him fair. He never treated him fair. He ordered him to wake up four a.m. in the morning so to call to the prayer because all the white Arab are asleep and he is the only slave there who is being yeah. given order. He's not, he's not treating him nice. Yeah. Hmm. 
but I mean, if you compare it to how black people were treated before, you know, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came. How black people were treated before Muhammad? Muhammad was raping black people. When Mary the Cop, she is an Egyptian, she's an African, he was raping her. So is that a nice treatment? Yeah, okay, I agree that's that's wrong. And okay. Although if I don't think Muhammad did that, I mean, what's the source? That what do you mean Muhammad did that? No, I can show you. Here we go. There's a chapter. It's called the chapter of At-Tahrim. In the chapter of At-Tahrim, yeah. Muhammad, his wife, she got him busted. He was sleeping yeah. with Mary the Copt, and he make an oath because he's a false man that I will never do that again. I promise you. After he made the promise that he will not do it again, he got horny again to sleep with this slave. So he broke his mm -hmm. oath and he said, Allah told him to break the oath. Mm. Mm. What do you think? So so he did break his oath with what he's saying Allah told him not to do. Yeah, Allah told him. No, Allah told him, why you yeah. are taking an oath about what I made lawful for you? But there is no yeah. verse in the Quran that says, if somebody gave you a slave as a gift, you rape her. Yes. Mm. So what we do now? Right. Mm. But then, okay, but then what about also where in the hadith it says if you have, uh, you know, a woman from Wabu, you're allowed to do anything with her. So like, you know, if you capture a female slave, you're, you know, it's permissible to uh, do it. Yeah, see, to, like, okay, the, the hadith and the Quran says it's, a, uh, uh, yeah. it's allowed for you to rape a woman you capture from war, but Mary the Quran, yeah. she was not captured from war. So where is the source that she is lawful for him? The Quran says a woman you capture from war, you can rape her, right? And this is authentic uh, hadith. This is Quran, not only hadith, Quran and Quran. hadith. Oh, Quran I didn't even hadith. know this. The Quran says, Wa Whatever you own in your right hand possess, this is from war. But Mary, she yeah. is not from war. Mary, she was a gift where her cousins sent to Muhammad yeah. a free shipping in hand into his door, and he accepted and he started raping the women, and he took the male as a slaves as, as the same as the rest yeah uh, i mean like so he took so was she his wife or was she his slave she like, was, was no the, she was his slave she was just his he, she was his companion as a slave she was his in companion the, in the bed you know which means like what they call it like a mistress mistress yeah, yeah for yeah. fun um, yeah, for fun yeah well if that's in the quran then that must be true you know i can't uh, disagree with what the Quran says yeah but but so, uh, you know okay you, you know what uh, I'm really I'm really confused about you uh, yeah is Islam is a good religion you know I have very uh, doubts about Islam you know like um, <laughs> certain things I can't explain and I've not had <laughs> answers to explain them so I, I can say it's good in some ways but in also some ways it's quite uh, wrong in what uh, is good know, about Islam give me the good for first the good base, okay, like it teaches people to, you know, to worship one God. It teaches. Uh, okay, I have, I have, I have. Uh, okay, so hold on. If somebody says to me, "Worship one God," that make make the religion yeah. good. I mean, what about the point? If what if there is one thousand God, that will not change anything. If God is one, he's one. If he is two, he's two. If he is three, he's three. We have to accept what he is, or what what what, right. what, what there is. So making a big fuss about okay, we worship one God. This is not a big deal. The Egyptian worship one God. There's many religion worship one God. The Christian worship God, uh, one God. The Jews worship one God. So what? Uh, th there is many religion, fake religion. They worship one God, one idol. So yeah. Okay, the number doesn't make any difference. But what about if he's real or not? If uh, if it's real, you mean that if the religion? Yeah, is real. if the religion. What important is is this religion? Okay, is real? but then. What about the scientific proofs in the Quran? Like okay, uh, like what? Give me, iron one. Give me from, one. Give me one. Which one? Iron come from the sky. Iron. Iron come from the sky? No, my friend. Iron does not come from the sky. The scientists don't say what the Muslim says. The scientists they say like a, a, a good part of the crust, the crust, yeah. the top of the earth is uh, iron is coming from the sky. But the magma is all of it is iron. Mm. And a human being. And look what the Quran says. The Quran yeah. says at Allah he sent the iron for the man for as a as a tool of war. Yeah. Correct? Okay. Which means the man was exist before the iron. Mm. So Allah he sent because when you say we send it down to the man, okay, yeah, then that's mean the man is there. Okay, what Allah he sent down. Let us read together. This is the verse, chapter 57, verse number 25. We verily yeah. sent our messenger with the clear proofs. 
and revealed to them scriptures blah 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 and then he says to mankind observe right and he sent down revealed as far as I mean I mean look look at the translation since when revealed the iron will be revealed is it inspiration <laughs> so and he sent down the iron <laughs> wherein is yeah. mighty power huh so he sent down to the mankind so the mankind was there and Allah he sent the iron Mm. But the iron, the iron is so, exists in our blood. We have iron. You see, if you have deficiency in your blood in the iron, you will so die immediately. Mm. So iron must be exist before we are created. Otherwise, yeah. we will not be exist. Secondly, the magma is full of iron. What what the Quran saying mm. here? It's a metaphorical that I am the one who sent the messengers. I am the one who sent the books, and even the iron you use for war, I send it to you. And the Muslim they make a miracle of it. They spread. Yeah, what about the other uh, bits that it says, you know, the sun uh, goes about on its, you know, own rotation, you know, like rotation. So like it says in the Quran that the sun has its own uh, course. So, the you know, it's explaining what? about the sun the, the, having its the own sun, course. You mean, you mean the sun? Yeah, the sun, yeah. Your sun. Okay, my friend, the sun in the Quran, the, 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 the Quran never say rotation. It says mustaqarrin laha. Which means it's go to a, a sleeping station. Yeah. Okay. Do you agree with that? That the sun goes and sleeps somewhere? No, no, because the sun is is, is not stationary. It's moving, but the earth is spinning on its own axis. Yeah. But so look, I don't believe that the sun. But look what the, the Quran goes, says. Look, 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 look what the Quran says. And the sun yeah. and the sun unto resting place. Do you see it? This is the Muslim translation, not my translation. Yeah, the sun doesn't rest because the sun's always okay. So, the, uh, so the Quran, part, so the Quran uh, obviously is wrong. But what if it's meaning it metaphorically or the, you know, um, a parable? What if it's a parable, like he's saying the sun is uh, prostrating to God by listening to God by you know, uh, by staying warm and everything? What if it means in that way? I'm not sure what do you mean, but but before we continue, uh, uh, we change this. Yeah. Do you know where the sun set according to the Quran? Uh, Moody spring of water. Okay, do you agree with that? No, but like people say that this is uh, from uh, uh, what's is that guy's name? The two horns. Uh, forgot his name now. Zulkarnain. Uh, Zulkarnain. Zulkarnain. Yeah, yeah. Zulkarnain. Mm -hmm. They're saying that that's from his perspective. Mm. So I don't. I'm confused. I don't know if the Quran okay. means. Let us, it let us me. Let us. Let us me and you together read together. I. I yeah. trust. I trust your. Uh, your. Your intelligence. Yeah. Right? And we will read the Quran together. If there is any. No. Is it, if there is any translation you favor, so I can show you a translation you like, or it doesn't matter. Uh, the Hifz Quran uh, translation from that one. Who? Cool. Uh, and any translation okay. is. Uh, okay. Read with me carefully. This is. This is the Quran okay. translation by Muslim. Which yeah, yeah. Okay, let us see the translation. This is by Bigtal, Muhammad Bigtal. You see here? I'm showing yeah. you the screen. I don't know if you can see the screen. You see the screen? Uh, one second. Let me have a look. Um, just hold on. Yeah, I can see it now. Yeah. All right. It says. Can... It says here that they ask yeah. thee, they ask thee, who is talking Allah? They ask thee about Dhul Qurnayn. Say, I shall recite into you uh, some remembrance of him, which means his story. Who is talking Allah? Yeah. Correct? Yeah. Okay. Lu, we made him strong in the land. So, Muhammad saying, uh, you know, the God of Muhammad saying, that I am the one who made him strong. And then, and then he follow a road. Okay. And then, till when he reach the sitting place of the sun, he found it sitting in his spirit. The one who is talking until now, who? It's Allah. Do you agree? Yeah. Okay. So how they say this is from the perspective of this man? If the one is reporting what he found is Allah. If I say that uh, I don't know what your name. Let's say your name is Muhammad. You Muhammad, you went all the way to India and you find the people there. They like to lo love to eat curry. Okay. I am. I'm reporting mm. what you found, but the found is a yeah. fact. You see? Yeah, yeah. Not he, uh, he thought. Yeah. He didn't say he thought. He said he found it. The second you found, say he yeah. found it, that means this is a find. This is, not, and he agreed mm. with it. That's why you say he found. You didn't say he thought. Yeah. If he thought, well, I'm going to correct him. Then he will say, and he thought that the sun sitting in the murky water. But he did not say that. Mm. He said he found it. And look what it says too. If you notice with me, 
Yeah, and this is the problem. Most of us, when we when we read something, we don't uh, think deeply. And I want you, please, to think deeply with me. It says, "Till yeah. when he reach the the setting place of the sun, yeah. who is the one talking? Allah." Yeah, he did not thought it is a setting it, until he reached the setting place of the sun. So, Allah is saying that there is a place where the sun set. Yeah. Okay, set in place, not only sunset. This is not a view of appearance, it is a set in place. Why? Because next to it, he found people who they are like this. Yeah, there in that place, that's he found people. So, this is a place, this is a location, and he found yeah. it, he found it sitting in a muddy spring. This is Allah reporting now. This is alone is not enough. Maybe a Muslim can play games still. He say, ah, oh, it's not clear. Let us go to the hadith. What about Muhammad? Explain this hadith for us. What do you think? Oh, yeah, the, I, I heard of the hadith where one of the companions of the Sahaba, he asked the Prophet Muhammad that... Uh, this is the hadith in front of us. Read with us, please. It says... Is it Sahih say, hadith or is it... Uh, yeah, yeah, this is Sahih. Sahih. This is a fat hadith. I was sitting behind the Messenger yeah. of Allah, S A W S F M uh, uh, Mercedes Benz, who was riding a donkey while the sun was setting. He asked, "Do you know where this set?" So the man, he was asked by the Prophet. The Prophet is showing his knowledge, like Muhammad, he liked to show off. Like I know, you do not know. So do you know where this set? Said this what the sun. I replied, Allah yeah. and his apostle know best, and Muhammad he loved to hear this. Like you have to say to him, "You and Allah knows best." So no, no, that's it. So he said it's set in a spring of warm water. So how the Muslim lie to us and say that this is from the uh, house al Qurnain, he thought Muhammad explained that do, do the Muslim knows more than Muhammad? No, no. Okay. Are you going to stay as a Muslim after this? It's very hard for me to uh, stay as a Muslim after this by okay. seeing this uh, horrible like it's it's almost, you know, too stupid, if you know what I mean. Okay, Allah is too stupid. I agree with you. But are you, are you, with my respect to you, are you too stupid to stay in this garbage? No, no, I'm more intelligent than that. Okay, so are you out of Islam? Yeah. Uh, that's wonderful. But, uh, but uh, I warn you, leaving Islam, that's mean you will not get versions. <laughs> I rather not have virgins. I rather leave Islam, and because I, I even have other tr trouble with Islam, you know, like about the paradise, you know, saying you'll have a little boys, you know, that's for homosexuals, and you so don't that like, means you don't you like know, boys. What about it, men? And the Prophet he promised men. The Prophet he promised he says, men as well. Yeah, in the heaven there is an there is an there is an uh, uh, a market where you can go, yeah. and the in the market there is a. Uh, 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 you know there is uh, images where you come by uh, like mm. or let us say uh, you like an image and if you like the the man or the woman in the image uh, you jump uh, you jump inside and you have sex with, with whoever is inside the, the heaven read with me carefully it says yeah this is Jamia at tirmudhi it says Ali narrated from the message of Allah indeed in paradise yeah. there is a market which there uh, there is no buying nor selling. Yeah, sorry except. about that. I just got cut off. It's Indeed, okay. in paradise. Yeah, your voice now is a lot better. It became higher. That's good. So, indeed, in paradise. Sorry. Okay. Uh, there, are, there is a market in which there is no buying nor selling, except which means there is buying and selling, but only the only product is images of images. men and women. Do you see the word men? yeah okay so what the images are men and women okay so whenever a man who is the customer the customer is a man correct and yeah okay. yeah so whenever a man desire an image he enter it which means to have sex with it okay so what we saw here that in the paradise of Allah there is images and the images are for men and for women but the customer is mm -hmm. what The customer is a oh. man. The customer only man, right? Yeah. Okay. So the customer is a man, and there's two product. One is images for men, as we see, and one is images for women. So mm. if the man desire to have sex with any of those images, which is images of men and women, 
he jump inside the image and he have sex with it so yes Muhammad he teach you know that in the heaven of Allah you will be a homosexual that is very like uh, if I must say it's very disgusting and you know I don't think a prophet of Almighty God can say such uh, horrible and disgusting things like that well you know Muhammad he's trying to be nice actually here maybe you are a gay and you like to have sex with men so he's trying to make you happy I mean come on show respect to the Prophet the Prophet he liked to show you that you like men in our heaven we have men you like boys we have boys you like chicken we have a chicken you know like what do you want you know it's like a, a yeah but, but here you notice Muhammad is opening the door of the fantasy business Muhammad he was way before like I don't know why the Muslim don't make a movie about this because Playboy exists yeah. more than 1400 years after Muhammad but the fact the first playboy magazine in the history it was the magazine of the prophet muhammad peace upon him this is a magazine this the whole bazaar has nothing except images you know? and yeah, what no, images, obviously weird, those images are for naked men and women and you go and you have sex with whoever you wish i mean that's i mean the prophet theory he have a very nice imagination and he have a very nice promises and I encourage yeah. all the Muslim to believe in him. I mean images So not only will we have 72 versions and uh, at least and uh, 80,000 little boys No, <coughs> we will have in the top of that. We will have Images and if we like the image we jump inside the image and we have sex with it Bloody hell. Yeah, that is very very bad All right, so my friend as long as you decide to leave Islam. What about you? What about what do you think about Christianity? Well, Christianity, I've, uh, you know, I've thought about it and it's, you know, how come there's so many mistakes and contradictions in the Bible, you know? Mm. Let, let, me, let, me, let me tell you something. When somebody says yeah. to you there's contradiction in the Bible, do you think the Christian did not see the, that there is what you claim, what people claim there are contradiction? Don't think we yeah. do not know? Okay. So how we explain that we don't leave Christianity if there is a contradiction? What happened is that people, when they try to make contradiction, they come with it, but it's not there. As an mm. example, they say to you, in this book here, it says that David, he have, etc. horses. In this book, it says he have, etc. horses. It's still, not, that will not change anything, anything. Because one day, me, I have $1 in my pocket. Second day, I have $10 in my pocket. The guy yeah. is alive and he is living. This is not, he did not build his house right away. So when people they describe, they try to find a contradiction and the contradiction is silly. Secondly, what they call contradiction does not make it ch change anything about the belief. Let us say, I am writing about uh, David. And then I say, David, he mm -hmm. have uh, uh, 100 horse. And you are writing, yeah. you are a rabbi. And you wrote, you says, David, he have 200 horse. That will not change that David was there and worshiped the same God. And that did not change that God, when he speak, he did not make uh, 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 the, the mistakes. If I, if, if ever those mistakes exist, that's the mistake of a writer. You see, that we believe as a Christians that the Bible is written by the hand of a man, which means it's a yeah. man, it's not God. So the mistake will be if God said something and God mm. was wrong, that will be a mistake. If a man, so the Bible is not is not the word of God. It's uh, it is no no. Uh, when we say it is the word of God, does not mean that every word there is God speaking. No, as an example, the Quran yeah. saying the Quran, but the Muslim they say the Quran is every word is a word of God because supposedly the one who report the story is Allah. In the Bible, no. Yeah. In the Bible, when God speak, this is the word of God. God speaking. When Satan speak, this is the word of Satan. But yet, when in general we say the, the Bible is the word of God, otherwise mm. we will find verses in the, in the Bible says that Satan he said. Correct. So Satan, yeah. he said, there is no way we will say that this is the word of God. But because it is in the Bible, we say all oh, the book is the word of God. But if all it's in front of us, it says Satan, he said. Do you understand me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But like, so we don't I, have, we don't have. Bible. So the, the mistakes yeah. they are talking about, I don't agree with with those who claim this uh, uh, thing. In the same time, right. In the same time, the Bible is book of books, and those books written by the hand of man. And what is from God is what God said. As an example, God, yeah. he said to Moses, that is God speaking. Moses said that is Moses yeah. speaking. Christian prince, he said that Christian prince speaking. Like a Muslim, he will come to me, he says, do you know in the Bible it says uh, it's allowed to have sex with your daughter? That's false. 
the Bible reporting mm. a story about two daughters have sex with their father because there's no men around they want to have kids so they can survive so they found this the is uh, the uh, prophet Lot. yeah but this is not what the Bible says the yeah. Bible did not say that God he says to them go and have sex with your father that's a lie so when the yeah, Bible no, that's, report, that's, that's a lie that's yeah a lie. the Bible report a story but the Muslim they use it to say the Bible allow because they are not yeah. being honest but I can show that yeah. from the Quran and the interpretation of the Muslim scholars that Muslims in chapter 25 verse number uh, 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 52 it says that you can have sex with your daughter if she is a daughter from adultery a Muslim is forbidden for him to have sex with his daughter that's let us make it clear but if yeah. she is a daughter from adultery you can have sex with her so this is in Islam not in a Christianity in that Christianity, is another like very disgusting thing that you know when I heard uh, from one of your previous debates, I found it very, you know, uh, disgusting. Like what? Like you know the the fact that you know if you have a daughter from adultery, yeah, you can. So, have you, so sex, you saw that uh, in the like, debate, right? You watched this debate. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that debate. Yeah, and uh, that is very like uh, if it, if it's true, that is very disgusting. It is true, my friend. Everything we say, we show, we show on the screen. You know, you know, you know what I do. Okay, I have, I have another uh, uh, question for you, CP. You know, like in the Bible, it gives the genealogy of uh, Jesus, right? Hmm. And then uh, it gives another genealogy. So it gives two different, it gives one for his father, his not father, the stepfather, Joseph. Hmm. It gives genealogy to say he's come from uh, King David. Hmm. And then it says, after that, it says, but uh, it's not his real father anyway. So what was the point? The point oh, is the that, Jews. You think no, that genealogy? No, the Jews, my friend. The Jews. When somebody, okay, Jesus is born of who? Of a mother and a yeah. father, by by birth, which means the yeah. Jews or what they see that there is a guy because the uh, uh, Joseph was engaged to Mary, an engagement yeah. for the Jews is the same as marriage, but with no sex yet. Same as marriage, yeah, yes. Yeah. So, like in this Muslim, they say "kat biktab," like you know, you say and stay in your home until yeah. the day. We organized our wedding, and we, you know, you come to my to my place. You live with me. Now, yeah. uh, uh, the Messiah he answered about that. This is the genealogy according to the Jews. The Jews they want to know who is this Jesus? He's son of who? But Jesus yeah. is, is not the. He is not from David, really. Like the Bible says, yes, he is a son of David. But in literally, the answer can be in Matthew chapter twenty-two. If we go in Matthew chapter twenty-two, it says that Jesus himself he asked the Jews. Now let me get the verses for for us and so we it on the screen. Yeah, so look what Jesus said. This is Matthew chapter 22. He came to the Jews and he said to them, What do you say of the Messiah? What do you say about the Messiah? Now, the Jews here they don't know that he is the Messiah, so he's asking them, What do yeah. you say about the Messiah? They said he is the son of David. Hmm? He is the son of David. And then, mm. then he says, "So well, if he is a son of David, uh, then how, how David he call him my uh, my Lord? You know? Yeah, but like, and here, by the way, no, and here in this verse, like I'm quoting actually not, not 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 the verse I want, but if you read on the screen with me here, I don't know if you can see it. Mm. But as the Pharisees were assembled, Yeshua asked them, and he said." What are you saying about the Messiah? So now somebody will say, okay, this is a contradiction. The Bible says that the Messiah is son of David, but Jesus says he is not the son of David. No, Jesus is not saying he's not son of David. By birth he is, but by reality, he is the God of David. Okay, look what he said. They said, mm. he said to them, what are you saying about the Messiah? Who is son is he? They were saying to him, the son of David. He said to them, and how did David by the Spirit and look here the by the Spirit call him the Lord Jehovah? Call him what the yeah. Lord Jehovah, which means my God. For he said, The Lord Jehovah said to my Lord, Sit in my right hand until I place your enemy under your feet. Therefore, David called him the Lord Jehovah. How is he his son? So here you see that Jesus saying to the to the to the Jews. Okay, I'm born by birth from mm. the seed of David, but I am not not, as, not not from the seed. The seed here is just the lineage, like by birth. Okay, the Jews they know his mother is Mary, 
his father yeah. is is, uh, is Joseph. So he is. Um, this is their lineage, and it goes all the way to David. So okay, by birth he is from David. But all of us we knew that Jesus said before Abraham, I am. So he exists before David. He exists before Abraham. Is and this is why David he called him God. And here the this is the response for the Muslim who says, where Jesus says I'm God. Don't the Muslim say, show me? I tell you, like she's like an I tell you any Christian, yeah. if he can show me one verse in the Bible, it says that this is God worth me, and you cannot find one. Okay, <laughs> so the Christian cannot find yeah, one verse do, in they... the Bible says Jesus says I'm God. It's all over. It's all over in front of us. So where Jesus, mm. I am God. Well, here we go. Jesus saying this is the one is talking here is not the disciple, is not Paul, is not John, is not Matthew. It is Jesus Himself speaking. Mm, but then, yeah. But then, isn't like the so Jesus? If if Jesus is the Messiah, then why hasn't he fulfilled the all the promises of the Old Testament? Like what? How oh, he's not for for, for for instance, uh, he's supposed to rebuild the third temple, right? Uh, the Messiah is supposed to. Build the third temple. No, he died before he he did this, and he, no, you know he, speak he was about, supposed he to says, do he a said, few other my friend, my friend, that, as well. Okay, listen. He said that the temple, the temple, the one he's talking about. Yeah. He says the temple. I will build it in three days. He's talking about himself when he will be crucified and he will come back to life. This is the holy temple. This is his body. So he was talking about his body. This temple, you destroy mm -hmm. it. I will build it in three days. And this is about his resurrection so always don't come with the conclusion by your own you know understand what Christ is saying yeah all right so I invite you my friend as long as you decide to leave this time it's up to you but I invite you to accept the Messiah as your Savior because you might go to sleep and never wake up you never know to be honest uh, I need to think about it more and uh, are you gonna be online live tomorrow so I, I am almost I... here every day until those people in the chat kick me out. <laughs> okay, okay uh, CP, I'll uh, speak to you soon. All right, my friend. Think about it, and okay, you, you, are, you are welcome to call me anytime. And I'm happy for you that you decide to leave Islam. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Take care. Yes, bye.